Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with GrandStream. Today's host is Phil Bowers. He is their Director of Marketing, and he'll be presenting today. If anyone has any questions, please submit them in the question box, and Phil will answer them at the end of today's presentation. Phil, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm finished for now. Please go ahead and take it on over. All right, thanks, Julie, and good morning to everyone. I believe most of you are out in California or the West Coast, so good morning and good afternoon to anyone that might be east of the Mississippi. My name is Phil Bowers. I'm the Director of Marketing for Grandstream. Um, I'm located up here in Boston, uh, up in the Northeast, which is where Grandstream is headquartered. Um, so yeah, great to be with all of you again. Uh, really enjoy doing these. I believe it's just about quarterly webinars uh, for Microcom and the team. So good to be with all of you again. Um, and we have a pretty exciting and very unique topic today. Um, I'm actually, what we're going to be talking about today is a little bit different than I think the way that we usually do these. Where this uh, solution that I'm going to be telling you guys about today is actually not launched yet. It is planned to be launched uh, next Monday. We are revving everything up and we'll push it out the door Monday and Tuesday. And frankly, we expect it to become one of, if not the best selling product that we have, uh, something that's really going to uh, not only be a great unified communications and collaboration platform, uh, for a lot of your customers, but also something that's going to help you uh, move a lot of endpoints as well um, and uh, sell some services with it as well. So this UCM 6300 ecosystem uh, is, which I'm going to be telling you about today, it's a uh, basically the third generation of our uh, very well-known UCM series of IP PBXs. Um, this is the, the third run of it, and one of the things that we have done this time is really built it into something that's much more than just a, a UC platform, but has a built-in collaboration platform, and also can pair up with a mobile app and a cloud service to kind of basically, as I'm going to show you here on this next screen here, oops, uh, give you a, a platform that gives it's basically a hybrid that offers the reliability and control that everyone loves and is used to with an on-premise solution and the power at, and pairs it with the power and the flexibility of a cloud solution and a mobile app. Um, so again, this is our the third generation of our UCM 6300 series. Um, oh, excuse me, of our UCM series of IP PBXs. We came out with the first uh, initial generation of it back in 2013 um, and over that time it's really grown to become one of the most popular uh, and frankly well-known on-premise IP PBXs or UC platforms out there on the market. Um, was actually having a really interesting conversation uh, with with some of our team recently just talking about how you know how much the PBX marketplace has really evolved within the last couple of years. You know, when we got into it in 2013 with our UCM series, most of the most PBX manufacturers were getting out of it. It was, you know, seen as really expensive and complicated and et cetera, et cetera. And we brought this this UCM uh, series to the market with devices that cost as little as $400 uh, as an MSRP. Um, and over the last couple of years, or excuse me, over the last five, six years, I, I think that, you know, the on-premise IP PBX has really made a strong comeback, largely because um, of pricing and all of the flexibility. It's not like it used to be where you're purchasing a bunch of different, um, di bunch of different packages and having to custom build solutions and, and whatnot. It's, you know, our UCM series gives you a, a U full unified communication and collaboration platform, just the one time upfront purchase price. Um, and this third generation takes that capacity to a new level as to what the devices can offer or can support, excuse me, and while pairing it with uh, that cloud platform and mobile app that I mentioned. So, so this is what I was really trying to get to. These are the three products. We talked about the UCM 6300 series. Um, that again is the third generation of our UCM series of IP PBXs. 
The other thing that we are launching as part of this UCM 6300 ecosystem is a wave app. Um, and I'll, I'll give you, I'll go into detail on each individual uh, product or service that you see here uh, throughout the webinar, kind of tell you how they all sync up and, and what they all do together. And then the third part of that ecosystem is a cloud-based NAT traversal service that we call UCM Remote Connect, basically to offer true plug and play out of the box um, setup of secure remote connections. Uh, historically, the most common uh, support question that we get is how to secure remote endpoints. Um, and this platform is going to allow you to do that while also securing connections through the Wave app. And that Wave app, uh, whether it be there's a mobile device or a mobile app and a desktop app, uh, basically is a great solution for mobile workers. So I will make this whole platform make a lot more sense as we move on here. Um, and basically break down each, each individual part for you. But the, the background of it, why we came out with this, this, this UCM 6300 ecosystem uh, really is great in today's day and age. It really uh, touches on and is really great for businesses that have multiple locations, multiple offices, and might have remote workers mixed in there. Um, and that is becoming really the norm, especially after 2020. So the solution provides not only um, a unified communication solutions, but we, we've added a collaboration platform to the UCM that you would access and use through this Wave app. And the UCM Remote Connect platform allows you to secure those remote connections, either to endpoints or the Wave app for remote workers or other offices. So the the anchor of this solution is the UCM 6300 series. Everything, uh, all of the other, the, the uh, platform or the app and the uh, cloud NAT traversal service that I offered, um, all of those are paired directly with the UCM 6300 series. They won't be compatible uh, with our previous generation of UCM devices. Um, and another thing that, you know, we're frankly get asked a lot about and that I should be upfront about here is this, Ecosystem provides a full solution. Um, the the hardware, the the mobile and the weight and the desktop app, as well as the remote security software. However, you don't have to utilize all of it. It it doesn't. You know, it, you're not required to use. You can get the UCM 6300 and just use that. You can use it with. You can use that with the Wave app without using the UCM Remote Connect service. Uh, so it is a full ecosystem with three different products and solutions um, that gives you the ability to pick and choose basically what's best for you and what's best for your customers out of that. The app is free. Remote Connect, as we'll talk about, is free, uh, likely for the for a pretty good amount of time to get off to start off with. Um, and as we'll touch on later, this whole ecosystem is manageable uh, through the Grandstream device management system. And I'll, I'll touch more on that later, but basically the UCM, the Wave app, and the Remote Connect service are all set up and managed now through the Grandstream device management system. So one centralized cloud-based interface that gives you the ability to, mod, to manage an on-premise UCM 6300 series and all of the remote connections and Wave app uh, access um remotely centrally for it teams uh so this is just kind of gives you a uh little visual of really the 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 way that this solution is set up to work you have a ucm 6300 series device centrally located on a premise that is connected to and obviously uh runs the entire uc solution within the office and then is also accessible remotely uh, through the Wave app, which basically is is not just for meetings and conferences, but also is really desktop soft phone app. Um, so it gives you all of the functionality, all of the, the web meetings and the desktop phone functionality through a mobile or desktop app. Um, and you can also obviously connect remotely to Grandstream endpoints. Um, our uh, GRP series or WP series or any any other Grandstream endpoint uh, with 
the UCM uh, 6300 series. And that is obviously uh, best, really best and easiest or best and most easily facilitated through UCM Remote Connect, which again is a uh, free service that allows you, that offers that plug and play right out of the box, uh, automatic, always on NAT traversal. UCM Remote Connect runs on Amazon Web Services. So it is, you know, the 99.99999% in terms of reliability. Uh, but again, this is, you know, this whole ecosystem gives you the ability to pick and choose what is best for you and your customers. But when you put the three together, it offers a great unified communications and collaboration solution that gives you the ability to securely support remote workers and allow uh, teams to work anywhere on any device using the Wave app on desktop or mobile or any other branch stream endpoint. Um, so now I'm going to kind of go through and break quickly break down the individual components of this solution. Uh, so the first, uh, or excuse me, of the UCM 6300 ecosystem, the first part of the ecosystem is the, and really the anchor of it, all the, everything else as part of this ecosystem requires you to have a UCM 6300 series device. Um, and I'm sure, and hopefully many of you are familiar with our UCM series. We came out with the UCM 6100 series in, I want to say July of 2013, we came out with the 6200 series, uh, which was the second generation, I believe about three or four years ago. Um, and now we are really, really excited to deliver the uh, new and improved UCM 6300 series. Uh, essentially what this, how this differs from our previous versions, it's going to have pretty much all of the same UC features that you're used to from other UCMs, voice, video, data, uh, mobility, uh, security, surveillance, door access, conferencing, video, all of that. All the same functionality, uh, the UC functionality of our previous UCM series devices, just now we have added a collaboration platform and more support, or excuse me, more capacity. So those are really the two biggest differences here between this new UCM 6300 series and the previous versions. This series supports up to 5,000 users, and I'll break down the models for you later, but you'll see that across the board, the four models in this series support more users than pretty much any previous UCM version. Um, and it also, the second bullet point there, gives you the built-in collaboration platform. It is a true web meeting and video conferencing platform. The device has the ability to host and offer you multiple different meeting rooms for video and audio conferencing just built right in. Um, and those meeting rooms can be accessed remotely um, or frankly from anybody or from anywhere using the Wave app, which is available for mobile or the Wave desktop app, which is just streaming within a browser, which is probably how most people would access it. But that uh, collaboration platform also gives you the ability to utilize and sync up with uh, Grandstream GVC video conferencing devices. And I actually believe any uh, or most other H.264 SIP video conferencing devices um, I believe it supports H.265 as well, uh, so that it does still have the ability to support the in-room in devices. Um, and again, this, this UCM 6300 series devices, then you can ex very easily extend it to remote users or to the desktop or the mobile through that Wave app. And the UCM Remote Connect service gives you the ability to very easily, quickly, and securely enable those remote connections. And it's all manageable through the Grandstream device management system. So in terms of the actual hardware of the UCM 6300 series, you have three, or excuse me, four models here, uh, the 01, the 02, the 04, and the 08. Uh, the 01 and the 02 are a little bit smaller. You can see from the picture, you've got the LCD, full color actually, LCD screens right on the top. The 04 and the 08 are, as you can see in the pictures, rack mountable. Um, so just to break up the models here for you real fast, uh, the six, actually, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to fly through. I'll show you, I will cover these specs a little bit later on. I think it's a little bit 
better looked at as you as we I have a slide that has a chart that will actually show you. But just real quickly, the 6301 supports 500 users, which is just about what any previous UCM uh, maxed out at. Uh, you get two built-in meeting rooms that support up to 12 uh, video uh, attendees. You see from the device here, uh, what the as you probably might be used to or remember from our previous versions that uh, number the last two numbers in the in the model number so 01 here will generally refer to the FXO or FXS ports and for this whole series you're going to have the 01 has one FXO one FXS the 02 has or the yeah the 02 has two the 04 has four and the 08 has eight uh, so. Just to show you the ports here on the O1, the O2 doubles the amount of uh, users it can support up to a thousand, gives you, I believe it's three meeting rooms with up to 20 uh, full HD video participants. Uh, here's the O2 is pretty much the same, just with an extra, uh, one F extra FXO and one extra FXS port. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, the O1 and O2 have this full color LCD right on the top of the device. You're also going to have an SD card slot in either one or two USB ports on the side of it. Uh, so now we move up to the top two models that are, again, both rack mountable. The O4 up to 2500. Um, previously, we had a 60, UCM 6510, which I believe went up to 2500. So this pretty much equals the most amount of users that we've ever supported. Um, and for a, for basically for an SMB model, this, or targeted model, this is the most users that we have ever supported. I believe it gives you three or four rooms, and I'll, co I'll confirm that on a slide coming up with up to 40 different uh, video participants in each room. Um, here again, it's a bigger device. It's rack mountable, the 04 and the 08. And there you go with the four FXO ports and four FXS ports. Uh, three gigabit ports, just like you got with those other devices there. Um, and then we move up to the 08, which supports up to 5,000 users. So it doubles the amount of users you get on the 04. This is double the amount of users we've ever supported on a UCM series device before. I believe it gives you eight different meeting rooms with up to 60 video participants in each one. And as you can see, same back as the uh, 6304, this just gives you eight FXS ports and eight FXO. So again, that last number in the model number or the last, yes, will tell you how many FXS and FXOs, FXO ports these devices have. Uh, mentioned this already, rack mountable, you're going to get two USB ports and an SD card port on both of these. You have that, um, just like you've had with the other rack mountable devices, gateways, UCMs that we've had in the past, you've got the uh, smaller graphic LCD screen there on the front. Uh, so here is, this is what I was looking for earlier. Um, this is the comparison across the whole line and really the, the most important things, in my opinion, uh, to pay attention to that really kind of show you the major updates and what's new with this UCM 6300 series are probably the top four or five lines there. The amount of users they support, uh, the amount of calls they support uh, has been greatly increased across the board. We have added, it's labeled video conference, but that's the, the video conferencing and web meeting platform that's built in that I mentioned. And the great thing about the way we have built that built in meeting and collaboration platform is it, it's essentially like the same way that you're used to setting up audio conference rooms in the past where you know the video room might just be an extension that somebody would call from a video phone or from a gvc or from their wave app um, rather than you know making it more complicated and whatnot it's really essentially set up to to be utilized the same way uh make it easy to join in the same way that that we're used to with audio conference you see the audio conference support has been greatly increased as well um, and also I want to call out, as I mentioned, that each of those, um, each device supports multiple different rooms. So at least two rooms, up to eight rooms on the 6308. 
Uh, all of them, just going down the list here, all of them have a built-in NAT router. Uh, there will be uh, high availability support for these devices. We're still finalizing the details on those and we'll provide more uh, information probably a little bit after launch. Um, but one of the things that you'll also see next year is an actual uh, high availability separate hardware device uh, for this series, but there will be other options uh, before that becomes available. That's not covered in this presentation. Just wanted to mention that because it always comes up. As you see down there, also supports H.265. So, um, yeah, probably spends a little bit more time on that than I had on this than I'd liked. But that is, you know, really the anchor and the whole core of this whole ecosystem is the UCM 6300 series IP PBX. So. Um, Let's move on and then now that I've told you about the UCM, I will show you how the other parts of this ecosystem interact with it. And again, the whole thing, the whole 6300 ecosystem is created to provide um, a flexible hybrid platform, gives you both the uh, benefits of an on-premise device with the remote access and the security that a cloud platform and a mobile app offers, really just to allow businesses to support employees in any location, multiple offices, to allow businesses to work from anywhere or mobilize your business, as you may have seen in a couple of places here. Saw this earlier, again, just a, I think a really good visual to show you kind of how the whole ecosystem comes together. Um, I'm gonna skip through that because it's I don't I don't like that chart. I forgot that was in this presentation. So told you a lot about the Wave app earlier. So we can probably I can actually probably cover this and remote connect uh, fairly quickly here. But uh, so the Wave app is a mobile and a web app uh, that allows it, that allows uh, anyone using a UCM 6300 series uh, or any business to provide. Uh, access to that device and the ability to make calls, receive calls, join meetings, host meetings with that built-in collaboration platform, um, all from the desktop or from a mobile device. Again, allowing uh, workers to connect anywhere at any time. Um, it's available for uh, iOS and for Android on mobile and it streams within Chrome and Firefox browsers for the desktop. So there's no software for it, which is great. Also, um, so, you know, I've talked a lot about being able, and you see in the picture, joining video meetings and web meetings, video conferences, whatnot with this device. It also really functions as a desktop soft phone for um, any SIP account connected or that's registered on a UCM device. So not only is this, you know, your meeting and collaboration platform, but the Wave app is also really a fully functioning soft phone at the same time, allowing you to make and receive SIP calls, hold audio conferences, transfer forward, all of that uh, from mobile or from the web. Um, and again, this is just for uh, or SIP accounts that are uh, registered to a Grandstream UCM 6300 series device. The Wave app will not be compatible with previous Grandstream uh, UCM devices. Um, and one thing that I should mention also that might be a point of confusion, um, we previously had, or we still have uh, an app that we have called Grandstream Wave or GS Wave for probably the last six, seven years. That app we have renamed Wave Lite. And that other app, just so you know, is a general uh, soft, SIP soft phone app uh, that will work with pretty much any SIP platform, but to be completely honest, it is it, it is fairly simple in terms of its functionality, whereas this Wave app, the, this Wave app that we're talking about here pairs directly with the UCM 6300 series and really gives you a fully functioning desktop phone and a web and video conferencing platform all built into this mobile and desktop app. Um, I mentioned earlier, supports Android, iOS, PC, and Mac, gives you really the ability, as I just you know keep saying here, to have the full functionality of a desktop of a desktop phone or an IP phone on your mobile or web or uh, excuse me, desktop device, uh, while also being able to join, hold uh, conferences, meetings remotely, or really from anywhere. 
So that is the Wave app, again, specifically for the UCM 6300 series of IP PBXs. And one of the best ways or the, the you know, really the, the plug and play way that we have provided to secure those remote connections or those any connection from off the local network of the UCM while also being able, uh, allowing you to secure the remote connections for any Grandstream SIP endpoints that you have out there. The third piece of this, uh, or this ecosystem is the UCM Remote Connect service. This is a always on automatic cloud-based NAT firewall traversal. Again, it works with the Wave app to secure connections that the Wave app makes back to the UCM 6300 series while also allowing you to do that uh, to secure connections uh, with again always on automatic NAT firewall traversal with Grandstream endpoints as well it's great for remote workers it's great for any really any business that has multiple different locations or people that might be logging on from different locations so uh, it's zero touch out of the box platform it's all set up through GDMS it, it really is pretty much a drag and drop a couple of clicks to, to have it set up um, and to secure those remote connections. It is based on, as you see here, Amazon Web Services, as I mentioned earlier. So it gives you that 99.99999, whatever it is, per, uh, reliability. Uh, it's integrated with GDMS, so there's nowhere else that you have to go to set it up or to utilize it. There's not like an, a separate interface for UCM Remote Connect than it is for you know, the rest of your, your UCM solution, all manageable from GDMS. So it makes it super easy to use, really quick and easy to deploy for IT teams. Um, and we are moving, we're, when we launch it, um, it's actually going to be free for, I believe at least the first eight months is what we're looking to make it free for. Uh, there will always be a free option to this plan, or excuse me, to this uh, service. Um, initially, this is the free plan that we are offering, um, or excuse me, this is, it's all free, first of all. Uh, again, for at least the first eight months, it's essentially being launched as an open beta. It actually supports up to 50 concurrent sessions, so that, it says 32 here, that is wrong. Um, you see a variety of other diagnostic tools, remote, uh, or excuse me, reports and alerts, cloud backup, remote management, obviously. Um, Bill, yeah, so great option. Uh, again, fully free um, in open beta for we're looking like the first eight months. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I think there's a small chance that this is always going to be a free platform or that the level of support that we see here will always be free and we'll just uh, announce paid plans that are much higher than this. Um, that's kind of the history of the way we do things is most of the time everything that we come out with really except for our uh, web meeting or IP video talk, a completely separate web meeting platform that we offer. Everything else we've done, even cloud stuff has always ended up being free. So I think there's an outside shot that will always be free, but it is free for at least the first eight months to support up to 50 maximum concurrent sessions. I um, mean, again, there's, it's all, um, will all be accessible um, through the Grandstream device management system, which can be found at gdms.cloud. And speaking of GDMS, and I'm actually just about to wrap up here. I only got a couple of slides left. Um, so it looks like we're actually making pretty good on time here, a little bit longer than I thought. Um, but just, I've mentioned it a whole bunch of times, but uh, the Grandstream device management system uh, has been synced up with and is a centralized platform. Uh, you've always known it as a platform uh, for the last three or four years since we've had it as a cloud-based centralized platform to manage our endpoints. Um, and now it will give you the ability to manage uh, the UCM 6300 series and the UC and C networks that are uh, set up through it, as well as being able to manage uh, connections through the Wave app and secure those connections through the Wave app or any other remote device uh, through the UCM Remote Connect platform. All manageable from this one single centralized cloud-based interface. Uh, so it's another thing that we've actually heard from installers uh, as we talk a lot about this device is the thing that they love about it is you know, the 
as, as we talked about earlier, the, the growth of people are really migrating back to the traditional on-premise IP PBX. Um, you know, it definitely for a period of time, four or five years, uh, actually probably more than that, probably like 20, about 10, 15 years there at least was just seen as a super complicated, really expensive device. And then, you know, companies like us started coming out with devices like this UCM, which still this new uh, model, I believe the, the O1 is right around $400 MSRP, gives you everything you're going to need, now has a built-in collaboration platform. Um, there's no there's no licenses, there's no extra users that you have to pay for. Um, and from the installer standpoint, it gives you that the reliability, the cost advantage of having that on-premise device, but GDMS gives you a cloud interface to manage and that on-premise device, centralized interface. Uh, so that's you know something else that we're hearing is is you know a really big part of this ecosystem and that that our customers really like. So anyway, that's GDMS. Whole thing is managed from GDMS. Uh, literally to get started uh, with using GDMS and really managing this whole ecosystem that I just mentioned, all you got to do is log into GDMS or create a free account, associate the 6300 series with the MAC address to that account. Um, and then you can start to uh, set up everything we've talked about here, uh, the entire UCM unified communications and collaboration platform, as well as the Wave app and as well as UCM Remote Connect service. Um, yeah, so we touched on, just to wrap up here, some, some deployment scenarios or target customers. Uh, there's a couple mentioned here. Again, I, I think the, the, the general audience here is any organization that has users in, or that has employees or users in multiple locations uh, that might have multiple different offices or have one office with a bunch of remote workers, which you know I, I think we're gonna see is gonna end up being a large portion of the workforce moving forward. So this is a really flexible platform, gives you the, the control and the reliability of on-premise while allowing you to reach outside that network with a mobile app, with a web app, and with a platform, uh, a always on uh, cloud service to secure that while all being manageable centrally from, this, uh, from the GDMS cloud interface. So small and medium sized businesses, uh, all the way up to large businesses, corporations and government um, are possible deployment scenarios here. Uh, the specific type of users, and I'm, we've touched about on this a lot, remote and hybrid workers, this is also great. A lot of businesses will have people coming into the office and working from home, moving back and forth, great solution for that. Um, hopefully we'll we'll be able to start traveling in 2021. Um, and so this gives you know a great solution for that to keep up with what's going on in the office uh, from a mobile or the desktop app. Um, and as I mentioned numerous times, any any location that has multiple offices or a combination of offices and remote workers, this is a really great solution. Uh, the on-prem, uh, or excuse me, it's because of the cost of this device, you can or this whole solution uh we can constantly hear this as we've been talking about this with some of our partners you compare what you would pay for a cloud solution versus what you would pay for this hardware device with all the stuff that comes basically for free and integrated with it you're gonna your roi on this on-premise solution is gonna make it it's going to cover itself very quickly it's gonna you're it's on a lot I think you guys see, I'm stumbling over this for some reason, but I think you guys get where I'm going here. Um, you're gonna, you know, you pay the one-time upfront hardware price, um, and that honestly would probably be, I don't know, anywhere from six to 18 months worth of a cloud platform. And then you fully own it and have full control of it and have no extra fees moving forward. Anyway, so, Keep an eye out for this. We are set to launch it next Monday. Uh, I mean, we've been, you may have heard about this. We've been, you know, talking about it in our channels and it's been a pretty popular topic for a couple of months now. Um, we almost launched it a couple of times, decided to pull it back a couple of times and put some more stuff into it, but it is fully ready to go. It's all systems go from our side. We'll be launched next Monday, November 9th. 
so that's it. I appreciate everybody uh, being here today. Uh, we're really excited about this UCM 6300 ecosystem. Um, just to give you an idea of how popular we expect it to be, uh, the sneak peek webinar that we held for this product, it was a global webinar uh, back in early October, had 1,500 people register for it. It is by about five times the most people we've ever had sign up and attend a webinar. Uh, we've been running some sneak peek campaigns on it. It is easily the most anticipated product that we've ever come out with. It's also probably the most hyped product that we've ever come out with, which may be why it is the most anticipated, but really addresses pretty much every business communication and collaboration need um, in not just in this climate, but in the way that businesses are going to operate moving forward. Uh, lots of flexibility within it allows teams to work securely from anywhere. And with that, I apologize for going a couple of minutes longer than I had planned to, but that wraps up my part and I'll turn it back over to Julie. Thank you so much, Phil, for that wonderful presentation. And yes, it looks like we've got some questions for you. Let's get started with the first one. First question here, can the UCM 6300 work with other IP phones that are not Grandstream phones? Yeah, ab absolutely, for sure, 100% they can. Um, it's just, you know, we have, so one of the things I didn't talk about here, but we have something called zero configuration that's built into our UCM. It allows it to auto discover and pretty much, if you want to allow it to, to automatically configure IP phones or IP endpoints for you, that would only support Grandstream IP phones. But yes, absolutely. The, the device itself could be configured with any brands of IP phones. Thank you for that, Phil. Next question here for you. Um, you had mentioned that everything is free. <laughs> is there um, uh, something that we could potentially look into for um, a pay plan that might offer higher support? Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, for sure. So I guess the honest answer is that we are we are launching the UCM Remote Connect service as it's an open beta, essentially. Um, we had planned to have a, a couple of different plans and, and charge for them, but we decided to go the route of basically a freemium service. So um, the plan moving forward, or at least for the first six to eight months, is that we're probably going to have that one plan that I showed that will support up to 50 concurrent sessions, but I believe it's unlimited users. It's just 50 concurrent sessions. Um, and I would expect that next year, uh, at some point in time, we will launch uh, some paid plans that do support, um, you know, more than 50 concurrent, uh, 50 concurrent sessions and a variety of other uh, features and new additions built into it. So that's definitely the long-term plan, um, and I will definitely pass on the feedback uh, that people are interested in paid plans that would, um, you know, support more than what we have in this we'll call it freemium plan. Okay, thank you so much, Bill. Next question here for you. Um, how many devices can the GDMS manage? I bel that's a, I, I'll be honest, I, I will have to look into that, but my understanding is that there is no limit to the amount of devices that GDMS can support. Um, and I know we have some fairly decently sized enterprises and service provider customers that use it um, for their own deployment. So I believe there is no limit, but I will double check and get back to you on that. Okay, sounds good. Thank you for that. Uh, next question here for you. Um, can I restore a backup file from one UCM model to um, onto another uh, different UCM model? Great, great, great question. And the answer is yes. Uh, there will be a tool uh, that will be in the UCM 6300 web UI that will allow you to grab backups or configurations that you may have saved from previous UCM series models. So great question. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Phil, if we go to the website, 
or your website is there um some, i would imagine there'd be plenty of information on this new product uh, or user manual already available for this product um and can the can a customer download it or for example could we see a demonstration all great questions so it everything that you mentioned there will be available next monday it's not up now um, but it will all be up on our website on Monday. And as, as soon as you go to the home page, it will call out this whole thing. And we'll have product pages and user manuals and data sheets and all types of technical information for it. Um, in terms of a demo, um, we've actually done a couple, and we'll probably keep doing these, um, some actually live webinars um, where one of our uh, one of our engineers will jump on and basically share his web user inter or show the web user interface, kind of show you how to set stuff up. Um, so yeah, that will be coming. Um, and that's actually, I'm just putting two and two together here. That's, we have, we'll have those recorded and that's probably a good idea to, to also put up uh, or to link to those product pages to what will likely be a YouTube video. Um, so yeah, that, that should all be available. It's just not up yet, it'll be up on Monday. Great. So it sounds like Monday is the day to uh, to jump on all the information for all of this, and it's a big day for Grandstream to launch this. So we're looking forward to that. Um, so can you talk a little bit about the best way? Uh, I know uh, I know some of our customers will come through Microcom, of course, but um, uh, or if we go to your website, what is the best way to get any type of support, technical, customer service, etc. I guess it, it depends on a couple of different ways. If, if you're if you're talking about like a, a reseller, um, one of your resellers, the suggestion would be to create, have them create a uh, a Partner Connect account. It's, I think it's GrandStream.PartnerConnect.com. It's just our free partner portal um, in which they would be able to submit technical support tickets through that. That would be flagged as coming from a Partner Connect member. Um, and I believe in, in North America, we guarantee, I want to say it, it's like a couple of hours uh, response time uh, for those that file a technical support ticket uh, through Partner Connect. Um, for, for, I guess for more from Microcom in general for our, your team, I guess we should probably sync you up with uh one of our guys um and and also um yeah that, that's there's definitely some options that we can offer uh by putting you in touch with one of our support guys on our side and that's probably honestly a better topic to to touch on offline but um there's there's definitely options um available for everybody. But yeah, in terms of the, the microcom support, probably better to touch on that offline. Okay, excellent, thank you. We're looking forward to that. Uh, last question here for you. Can you tell us where all of your grand stream products are manufactured? They are all manufactured uh, in Shenzhen, China, um, which is actually where we've always manufactured our products for, for just about the last 20 years. Um, so yeah, it's all, it's all made in China. Um, we, to be completely honest with you, we, uh, in the, the area that we're in, in Shenzhen, uh, we have Pauly and Cisco and pretty much everybody else is, is within that area. So um, that is more of the stuff that you're getting from, even from other brands is made in that area uh, that most people are aware of. But yep, it's all, it's all made in Shenzhen, China. Thank you very much, Phil, for answering all of those questions for us today. And also, thank you to everyone for attending our webinar. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact our sales rep or email us at sales at microcomtech.com. And if you wish to view any of the products mentioned or shown here today, please visit us at www.microcom.us. And if you wish to view any of these products mentioned or shown, please visit us at www.microcom.us. Please remember this webinar presentation has been recorded and will be uploaded 
to our Microcom YouTube channel so you can view it again. And I realize that next week is the big day for this launch. So everyone, please keep that in mind. Thank you, Phil, so much for your time and your presentation today. Thank you, everyone, for your time today. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, everybody.